My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when you are rebuked of him. For whom the Lord loves, he chasteneth. Now notice, he's not talking about sickness or disease here. And scourgeth every son whom he receives. If you endure chastening, God deals with you as sons. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? In other words, listen, if you get rebuked, if you get chastened, be glad. Why? It means that God considers you, you a son. If he didn't consider you a son, he wouldn't be talking to you. He says, so don't get upset just because you're chastened. And we're talking about that. But if you be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then you are bastards and not sons. That's pretty straightforward, isn't it? And then he goes on, I didn't put all this in here, but he goes on and talks about how our earthly fathers chastened us after the flesh. But our heavenly father chastens us after the spirit, which proves that God does not get you sick to chasten you because sickness is in your flesh and not in your spirit. Do you get that? So how does God chasten in the spirit? Well, if you're his son, the last thing you want to hear is, I am so disappointed in you. Now, how many of you know that was the worst thing possibly your father ever told you? Yeah. Why? Because that was, that, that's what he's talking about here. When you read the Bible and you realize how you're supposed to live, and you're not living that way, and you know it, and it hurts you or bothers you. Why? Because it bothers you because you know you're disappointing the Father. That's a son. See, a son doesn't have to be chastened with sickness or disease. Come on. That's under the curse. That's, that's for people outside of God. That shouldn't even be among Christians at all, especially not in some type of punishment because the word chastisement, technically in this situation, doesn't even mean punishment. It means training. It means disciplining, but it doesn't mean punishment. In this, in this context, and you look at the words it's used, it's not the same word. It's used differently. So to think that God has to make you sick to teach you something means that the Holy Spirit is a spirit of infirmity or a spirit of cancer or something else, whatever it is that you think God has given you. So that's not how he chastises you. He chastises you. He says, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Well, guess what? Spare the rod, spoil the child. Why did he use that terminology? Why? Because the rod is the word of God. The staff is the word of God. It just depends. If you're a good son, then God uses the staff, the word of God, to lead and guide you. But if you're disobedient or if, you're, if you need chastisement, then he brings out the rod. And the rod is the same thing. It's the word of God. But whenever you read it, you're getting spanked and you know it. That's the difference. You want to know the difference between chastisement and punishment? That, that, that's it in a nutshell. I wouldn't plan on bringing all that out, but 